What is up, you guys? And welcome back to Diva Time. So today, I'm going to tell you guys the um a little story time today that I went to go sign up and audition for American Idol. Now, if you're wondering why I look so ridiculous, it's because it's cold. And I'm about to be in the middle of a hurricane. So, now, so I went to Five Below yesterday and I got this. It's a little unicorn. And I got a blanket with the it comes it wraps me around so I can be warm. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. But we're gonna go hang in into this video. Now y'all better hit that subscribe button and like it. Alright, so make sure my edges covered. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this video. So it was like two weeks ago all this happened. All right, and I'm going to tell you guys if I made it or not. So, stay tuned to the end of the video to see if I made it or not, okay? Which I will probably give out the answer in the middle of telling this video. All right, so... <clears throat> All right, so let's get into the video. So, I was on FaceTime with one of my friends. I'm not going to say her... I'm not going to say her name. Well, <clears throat> she wouldn't mind if I did say her name. But I was on the um, my FaceTime with uh, my friend named Clarice. And um, I started singing um, as we was on FaceTime. We was like live on Instagram. And I started singing. She was like, well, you, you should try out for American Idol. I was like, really? They're coming down here? Because I love American Idol. Like, I loved it. I've been watching American Idol since Fantasia 1, girl, yes. I was like, okay, so let's do it. So I was happy. I went on to the website, um, the American Idol website, and I tried out for it. And you know that you have to send a video in. Um, and once they see that you can sing, you know, then they give you like a yeah. little thing where you can go. Hold on, y'all, because I'm about to interrupt my video. People trying to interrupt my video. I'm trying to tell a story. Anyways, so, where did I leave off it? Oh, yeah, you have to submit a video before you can um, actually go on audition. So, if you guys don't know, I already do have a video on my channel, me singing. Um, that song by, I don't know what his name is. But I go, it goes like, blue, look good on the sky. It goes like baby blue ain't your color. Okay. So I saw I I sent that video in. I sent that video in and I waited because you cannot go into the audition and see the producers look at your video. So the producers looked at my video and I'll say maybe like um three to four days they sent me the invitation talking about hey we're all ready to audition for American Idol. It's gonna be catered, it's gonna be located and blah blah blah. So, I was like, yay, 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 I made it. I was so excited. I kept practicing for a good week. And my voice was, like, running out. So, I had to, it was days when I went. It was, like, maybe, like, a day or two days I went without singing because I did not want my voice to give out before I went to the audition. So, um, everybody helped me, you know, um, rehearse practice for the audition my mom helped my brother helped i helped myself my boyfriend helped and everybody else and my friends they helped too so the song that i sung was location by khalid you know send me your location let's focus on communicating because i just need the time and place to come through I know my voice cracked in the middle. That's because I'm tired. So, don't blame me. Anyways. So, after that, y'all, my underpit itching. After that, um, I sent in the video that was like, okay, well, you're ready to go to this location to audition for American Idol. I was like, okay, that's cool. So, me and my mom, we got up. It was on September the 1st. We got up. The audition was on September the 1st. It was like five days ago. 
Um, so after that, we got up. I got dressed. I was so tired, y'all. I was like, mm, not today. I was like, American Island, not today. I got to. Because I woke up around 4. Went back to sleep. But mama, we was like, we live about 30 to 45 minutes away from the place I'm auditioning for American Idol. So I woke up around 4 something. Went back to sleep. No, I woke up around 4. Looked at my phone. I was like, uh-uh, honey. I'm about to get me a good hour and 10 minutes of sleep. And I did just that. And I woke up around 5.10. And my mom came out of my room because she know that I'm, I'm a very, very light sleeper. So when she was like, Kaya, wake up. I jumped down. I was like, like, I was tired, y'all. Like, I love me some sleep, but I'm a very light sleeper. So she woke me up. I got dressed. I wore like this little blouse. I wore everything, and I will add pictures and videos, um, to this video. Um. So after that, I got up, got dressed. When I went outside, y'all, it was dark. It was pitch black dark. No sun. It was cold. I was tired. All right. So then we went. All right, and we got there, and they had parking. It was packed. I, I would say it wasn't really that packed for me, but for my mom, like, she said it was packed. It was getting packed. So, we got out the car, and, you know, we walked. We had to pay for parking. We walked. And, oh, my God, you guys. The freaking line. It had, like, five or six lines. We was in, me and my mom and some other people, like, other people, that was audition. We was in the second. We wasn't. No, no, no. We was in first line. So it was a lot, a lot of people there. So then the people, I guess they work for American Idol or they, um, I don't know. They just helped with the audition process. They came towards us and they was like, well, you know, make sure they were just making sure we had all our papers signed. Um, so we, they made sure we have all our papers signed. And so, they was like, okay, I need everybody that's a contestant, that's going to be a contestant, you know, the audition need to stay on the sidewalk. And the people that, you know, just came with them for more, for support go on the grass. So, then we went on the grass. And then they was like, well, the people that's on, the people that's con auditioning go on the sidewalk. So, we went on the sidewalk. And they was like, oh. The bus is about to come. What bus? I was like, oh, the American Idol bus is about to come. So the American Idol bus came and just went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's what it did. And I got tired. I was like, yo, it was hot out there. My my dumb butt wore some a long shirt because I was trying to look all cute. And I was like, yo, you know what? Uh -uh. I was burning up, honey child. I was like, let's go ahead and get this over with so I could go home. So it was about a good hour, an hour and a half when they started calling us. So they started calling us. Everybody went up. This dude that was working there, he was like old, really old. He didn't know what he was talking about. He was like, well, if you make it, then you will go up into the building to meet the actual judges. Uh, judges, I was like, oh shoot, Katy Perry here, you know, Lionel Richie here, like Luke Bryan here. I was like, okay, let's get it. Like, I was hyped. Then he came back 20 minutes later, talking about stuff. No, that's not how it works. The real judges are not inside the building. I'm like, dude, if you don't get your facts right, like you can't be making me happy with false hopes like that, uh-uh. So after that, um, we the, the line started moving. I thought that we was going to audition in the building, but nah, we auditioned where the tents are. And I'm going to show you guys um where we auditioned. We auditioned in the tents. We was outside. It was hot, honey. So it was me and this girl. I don't know what this girl's name is, but she was so nice. She was nervous as me, but that girl, she could sing. So, girl, if you looking at this, I don't know. Hey, I hope you made it, you know. And then, so, after that, um, we moved up, me and the girl, we moved up, we started talking, I was like, girl, I gotta pee, I'm about to pee on myself, y'all, I was holding my pee in for five hours, I was like, yo, I got to pee. So, then we get up to the line for the tents, okay, so, basically, 
you go up and they cut a certain amount of people um for the line. So I'm telling you guys about the second line. So I already told you guys about the first line I was waiting. The second line was I was in front of the second line. It was me. They got like uh maybe like twenty people and you they have four well five stations they put like ten people in each station. So um I started choking. Choking. I was like, I was coughing. I was like, <coughs> I was like, yo, I'm about to die. Like, I saw the lights flashing. I saw the pictures flashing before my eyes. Like, it was hot. I didn't have no water. I did have water, but my mom, she, they wouldn't let my mom come up there to give me the water. So y'all, I this girl luckily she ha she had like a bottle of water that wasn't empty, so that wasn't open. So she was like, "Yeah, you can have the water." I was like, "Okay." Drunk the water, fine. Started coughing, and you know, choking. Ten minutes later, water, <laughs> water, cause I was like, "Uh, uh, I'm not about to die. I'm not about to, you know." Get out this line and be like, oh, I no, like I'm about to stick it out. Like this coughing better, this not gonna take me out. So we get up there, and all of a sudden these people, uh, I see these people coming from the side. They got FOL tickets. I'm like, what the hell is an FOL ticket? Cause nobody didn't nobody give me an FOL ticket. They did not give me an FOL. So I see people coming up there. They got FOL tickets. I'm like, and everybody looking at each other like, what is the FOL? So they told us what FOL means. That it means front of line, front of line. And I think it was rigged because I feel like they already knew who's gonna win American Idol by the FOL by the people that had the FOL tickets. So they came in the line, skipped us, and went. We even stand out there for a good 10 minutes. I feel like them people just arrived. Just arrived. And they had the FOL tickets what made them jump in front of us. I got mad. I was about to say, look, what's going on? They need to wait in the line. I don't care they got an FOL ticket. But I think that's how it was rigged. Because I feel like that American Idol knew who they wanted to pick for the show. They knew who they wanted to pick for the show because they had an FOL the people that could jump in front of the line. It's just like if you ever went to like Disney World, Universal Studios, like anything port, you can, you know, jump in front of the people that been waiting in the lines. Kind of like that. So you can guys so you guys can get a little visual of what I'm saying. So after that, you know, they started calling people up. Okay, they counted it off. There was like first line one, you know, second line two, uh, third line three, and fourth line four. So, the people that was in the front line, they picked one from each line, and it was four people that went up there. They was like, okay, well, you're going to tent number one, you're going to tent, tent number two, you're going to tent number three, you're going to tent number four. So, it was my turn, honey. They count me and these girls off. It was four girls, and, you know, it was me, including these other girls. So, we went up to tent five. We were just getting done. You know, seeing, looking at one of the girls, you know, because they was, just got done singing. And then, so, this is how it went for the audition. So, basically, this is how it went. They call you up, the four girls, they call you up. You have to stand on the tape. All right? Well, no, no, no. They call you up, and you give them your paper. Everybody gave it the paper, you know, everything. So, then you go back to the four line. And then they call your name, or they're like, okay, Kaya, um, come up to the blue tape. So it's like a one long blue tape line, and then the f second tape is a short blue line, only enough so you can put your two feet on. And then so it was this, oh, my God, the people that was in my group, they could all sing. Like, the people that was in my group, they could all sing. It was this one black girl it was this one white girl that went after me like they could sing i was like yo they better get it so 
one by one, we went up to the Bute and we started singing. And, um, like I said, I don't know what her name was, but the one black girl, she was on the white side. She was on, not the white side, she was on the right, the white side. Um, she was just like, well, you know, she was nice. She was like, well, what song are you singing, um... And what's your name? I was like, well, my name is Kai. I'm going to sing Location by Khalid. She was like, oh, okay, well, you know, you're going to do good. Don't worry. You know, don't worry. And um, she went up. As she got done singing, she came back. I said, girl, you did a good job, you know. I'm there, you know, to make everybody feel good. You know, just in case if we don't get it. I may, I wanted to make everybody feel like they did really good. So then it was this another girl that went, y'all, I was rehearsing my lyrics. I was doing this. I was like, location, look. Like, I think I was overthinking, but I did my lyrics and I sung the song. So after that, uh, I went up. And she was like, Kia? I said, no, 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 honey. Kaya. And a lot of people get my name wrong. They be like, Kia. Some people spell my name with an H. I, I don't know. It's spelled K-I-Y-A. I, mm. Anyways. So I went up. She said, well, uh, what are you going to sing for us today? I said, Location by Khalid. She said, okay, whenever you're ready. So I did like this. I was shaking my arms and everything. And I started singing. <clears throat> I'm not going <clears> to. <throat> I started singing. So I was like, <clears throat> send me your location. Let's focus on communicating. Because I just need the time and place to come through. One, two, three, and four, honey. Send me your location. Let's rise the vibration. I don't need nothing else but you. And I just started singing and singing. I was, like, moving. I was getting into it. I was like, yes, honey. You know, we about to go. I'm about to sing Location by Khalid. You know, we about to get it. And then after that, she was like, good job, good job. And then I stepped back on the table. I was like, thank you. Then this other white girl, she went, yo, she hit a high note. I was like, girl, yes. And she got done. So we all backed up, and the judge, you know, she was like, all right, if y'all, you don't mind stepping forward. So my heart was racing, because I was like, did I make this? Did I not make it? Like, I was so, so nervous. So she was like, you know, thank you for coming out today and everything american idol has been really um what to call it tough on picking talent like you know on picking people but she was like unfortunately none of y'all made it i was like none of us made it in my head i was about to slap them lady in the face with them papers I was like, I, I was, because the tickets was right there. I was about to take one of them tickets, pull it up in the air, and run into that building. But she said, none of y'all didn't make it. You know, I think y'all, I think you all can make it, you know. It just needs a little more work. And she was like, well, try again next year. I was like, so you had me get up at 4-something. No, 5-10. Hold my pee in for five hours. Did not even get a ticket. Yo, I was so pissed at that lady. I'm not going to lie. I was so pissed. I was like, yo, I'm pissed. And I got to piss. Like, I was, like, I was so mad. Oh, yeah, and I forgot they gave us our wristbands. They gave us these blue wristbands. So if you guys are asking, well, why don't you still have your papers? What happened to the papers that you gave the lady? I don't know. They kept my stuff. All my information on them dang on papers. Now, if they didn't send me through, why are they keeping my information on the paper? So, they, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to throw it away. They better. Or somebody better. They better do something. Somebody better contact me. Atlanta Records. Something. So, then we got done. I saw the girl. You know, I looked down in shame. I was like, damn. I wasted my time. So then one of the girls, the girls that gave me the water, her water when I was choking, she said, you did a really good job. She mouthed it to me because it was another girl singing her group. She didn't want to be rude. I understand that. Um, She was like, you know, well, you did a really good job. She mouthed it to me, and then she did like that. I waited at her. And, you know, I was sad. I looked down. 
you know, and when you got to the door, they freaking cut your damn wristband. They was like, cut. I was like, yo, I got even more mad because I was like, can we at least keep our wristbands? They cut them. They cut our wristbands. And they was like, well, good luck, you know, come back next year, blah, 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 blah. And I was so upset. Still am. Um, you know, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose in life. But, you know, that's not going to stop me. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to get to that part. Hold up. After that, my mom, she watched. She was like, well, did you make it? I said, no, mom, I did not. And she was like, well, you know, it's all right. Maybe we enroll you into some, you know, singing lessons so you get a little bit better and try out for next year. I said, yeah, yeah, you know. I honestly felt like crying because I was like, yeah, I'm going to make it. But, you know, I don't know why I didn't make it. But, you know, after that, we went home. No, my mom took me shopping, so I did win a prize at the end of the day. And I got to be on the news. So, um, yeah, I at least I got, like, like my five minutes, minutes of fame. <laughs> After that, um, you know, it's freaking hot. After that, I went home, and, you know, that just, um, goes to show, like, you know, if you're really passionate about something, just because somebody say no, don't stop doing it. I'm still singing. I'm still going around the house singing. I'm still going around grocery stores singing. People looking at me crazy. Why? Because I don't care. You know. Maybe I feel like that wasn't the right song to pick. I don't know what it was. Maybe the judges are looking for something that I don't have. I don't know. But I do know it's their loss because I can sing really, really good. But, um, you know, just... With that being said, with my story time being said, you know, just because somebody tell you no on something, don't stop. Thrive for it. Strive for it. You know, do what you were made to do. If you're made to singing, if you're made to, I don't know, you know, just do it. Just because somebody tell you no, don't stop doing it, honey. But, yeah, you guys, that's the end of my story time. I'm, I'm a little sad now thinking about it, but... You know, ish happens in life, and you can't really make women. You can't really make lemonade out of lemons. So that's what I did, you know. And I will try again next year. I definitely will. I will enroll myself to some singing lessons this year. Um, you know, I, I will try, you know. You guys might see me on American Idol on the TV when it comes on. I don't know, because we were way when the buses and the drones were coming through, so you probably guys will, well, maybe see me on TV, but, um, yeah, you guys, that's the end of my auditioning for American Idol, um, piece of shit, I mean, video, <laughs> but, um, if you guys, um, uh, like this video, make it, make sure to thumbs up the like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm about to go eat me some hibachi food. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.